Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. We promised you inspiration this morning and it is coming in spades. The Britton family has seen, uh, to say the least, many ups and downs over the years. Mom Danielle Britton and son Lawrence both survived cancer and then Lawrence defied the odds to go on to win a silver medal for rowing at the Rio Olympic Games back in 2016. It's safe to say that this is a family filled with warriors. Well, Danielle then decided to put pen to paper and share their incredible story in her book titled Warriors, an epic battle for Olympic rowing victory. And she joins us along with her son Lawrence to chat about, yes, the Tokyo Olympic Games, but also what sounds like an incredible book. Guys, a very good morning. Great to be seeing you again. Uh, Lawrence, loving the beard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for having me on the show. And Thank yeah, you. I knew I was coming back to the, the winter, so <laughs> I had to keep the beard strong. Look, I, I heard the temperatures soared that side of the world. I know uh, possibly not the best outing in terms of that final result, but a fantastic showing nonetheless. And we're really proud that you made it to another Olympics. Congratulations for becoming an Olympian yet again. What was your experience like in Tokyo? Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's a mixed bag because we, we really fell short of uh, our expectations and uh, what we really believed we could achieve. So it was a little tough and uh, I still need some time to, to deal with that. But uh, I mean, in general, the, the Olympic Games is always something special and, and always something to uh, be proud of. And, and yeah, I mean, it was a great experience. We just uh, really upset with the result. Buddy, I think that's why you have the four years. It's not just to revel in victory, but it's to, to, to stew in defeat. But it's what builds the mental resilience. And that, I think, is a firm focus in the book. But, Danielle, I'm, I'm going to move to you now. And I've got to ask you this, because this whole time I've been thinking about the very special relationship that I share with my mother. And you obviously have managed to stay very close to Lawrence. You were the team doctor in, in Tokyo. What was that experience like for you? Look, I've been the team doctor for, for that team for 10 years. So I know, I know all the guys very well and the team very well. Um, being obviously, it's fantastic being there with Lawrence um, and was the same at Rio as well, to have that special um, insight into the Games and to actually have the privilege of working at the Games. Um, so that gave me, and you know, being the rain doctor gave me a way in to be the team doctor in South Africa. And so that was an incredible experience and um, a privilege to be there and see some of the caliber of athletes um, that one sees at the Olympic Games, which makes them so special. Um, so, yeah, I think our relationship um, is really good. And I've, have, I've enjoyed having that closeness at the Games, and especially now in Tokyo where things didn't go that well. I felt I was able to be there a little bit in those moments of of despair. Because I, I don't think people understand, I'm lucky enough to obviously get to, to talk to some amazing athletes and I don't think people understand the margins and how much gets invested in this journey. It really is a lifelong journey for most that have made it to that point. And it's a, a mother of two sons competing in rowing at the very highest level. Um, and uh, you and Lawrence having both, obviously, um, as I mentioned in the opening, beat cancer. You are cancer survivors. You have an incredible story and a journey to tell. And you've decided to do that through your book, Warriors, an epic battle for Olympic rowing victory. Tell us a bit more about the book and what prompted you to take that step and say, okay, I need to share the story in a more concrete way? Well, after at Rio, actually, somebody told me that the boys were the only brothers in South Africa at that stage to have won medals. Wow. And also Lawrence, Lawrence had just survived the Hodgkin's lymphoma. So I thought that, you know, that was in itself a, a story. And in, in a way, it started with that. But then it just grew so much more into obviously the Rio story and Lawrence's story, but then Matthew's story with the lightweight four and all they went through to, to deliver that performance. And, and more and more, as, as, as I've been involved in this pr process, one realizes just how outstanding that um, um, performance was. Um, and then, of course, it didn't, couldn't just stop there um, at that because it involved the family. And David's, David's journey to, um, to try to get into the Atlanta Olympic Games and, you know, how that was for him and, and how that influenced the boys when they were very small. 
So all of these things just added up, making it into more of just that story. There were just so many other stories in it. And so I kept going um, and, yeah, ended up with what you see there, um, which has been great to write and really, really, yeah, a privilege to have been part of that whole family um, that managed to do what they've done. Uh, you keep using the word privilege, and, and I think it's it, it's wonderful to hear that. But it's you know there there is so much going into achieving these 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 goals these goals that few of us can scarcely even you know dream of. And Lawrence, I've, I've got to turn this to you because your story is obviously nothing short of inspiring. What was the process like being a part of the book? How much were you allowed? Did your mom come and say, "Listen, I'm writing a story about you"? And um, what were your thoughts on this this whole project? <laughs> Yeah, um, my mom uh, definitely came to me and said she she wanted to to write the book. And from day one, I've I've always uh, been a big believer, a big fan of uh, of of the book. You know, um, it's quite special. You know, when you're going through something really tough, like uh, when I was going through the Hodgkin's treatment, you know, you always look for other people to kind of help you, bring you along, you know, give you that inspiration. And I just thought, you know, if that book, if my mom can write a book and it can one person can read it and and kind of face something difficult, then it's worth uh, writing, it's worth getting the story out. And then as she was writing it, you know, I read uh, one of the first uh, drafts and, oh man, it was, it was really something special, you know, to uh, go through the family's journey. And there's so, as my mom said, there's so much more than, it's, just, it's not just a rowing story, you know, it's a, it's a story about, you know, family becoming, you know, uh, chasing their dreams and, and going after something, something special. So. You know, even reading the, the book the first time, it was, um, you know, there's things in there that, you know, from when I was really little that I didn't even realize. And, you know, there was just, I think the whole book was, was just really special. So, yeah, from day one, I've been a, the number one supporter and all my brothers have been, uh, been part of it. And my mom has put so much effort into to getting those stories out and getting them, getting them right and true. And I think that's uh, been really, really special to, to see it happen and be part of. I feel like crying right now, mainly because I don't have an hour and a half to talk to you guys because this has piqued my interest on so many levels. I think from a sports fan perspective, this is going to give them a glimpse into greatness, which is wonderful. But I think in terms of, as you said, maybe just that one person who needs help at a critical moment in their life, this could be that defining moment. So thank you so much. As a family, thank you for just being amazing and giving us so many moments of, of sheer wonder and celebration. We really Really appreciate you and thank you for putting that all in book form. Well, I hope everybody gets to enjoy reading something of, of that journey. A oh, massive thank you to Danielle and sure. Lawrence Britton for joining us via video call this morning. Really goosebump stuff. Make sure you get your copy of what sounds like the most amazing journey in Warriors, an epic battle for Olympic rowing victory. Do it today.